Hey, so you know about the new shooter that everyone's been talking about for quite some time? Valorant's Valorant. Valorant. Well, yeah. I got in and I played it, and it's actually pretty damn good. My name is Jalavai from Indie Hub, and this is everything you need to know about Riot Games' new shooter, Valorant. First things first, if you're a player of CSGO, then this game will feel very similar to you. Valorant features spray patterns, fast kill speeds, bomb sights, and frantic gunfights. The difference between Valorant and CSGO are the new abilities, which is why Valorant is often referred to as a child between CSGO and Overwatch. Abilities in Valorant are mostly used for utility, giving your team slight advantages. Unless you're Raze, and literally every single part of your kit deals damage, and your enemy will complain in all chat. All characters of Valorant will have up to 4 abilities, with one being a super ability called an ultimate. In order to gain access to your ultimate, you have to either grab orbs around the map, or complete objectives and kill enemies. The other abilities you will either spawn with, or have to buy from the buy menu, which we'll get more into later. Knowing how to time using your abilities can become essential for defending a bomb site or sieging one as misusing an ability may yield devastating results for either team. The characters of Valorant are known as Agents, and starting out the game, you only have a small handful. As you play the game, you are able to unlock these Agents by completing contracts. Contracts can also be used on Agents that you already have in order to unlock different titles and banners. As of right now, Valorant only has one demolition style game mode where one team is tasked with blowing up a specific area of the map, and the other is tasked with either killing the enemies, or defusing the bomb, or in this case, the spike. Some maps of Valorant features three different bomb sites, which players from CSGO might have trouble adjusting spreading out their forces. The overall movement and gameplay feel of Valorant feels almost like a carbon copy of CSGO. And speaking of things from CSGO, the game also features an economy system, where you can get money by either completing the objective or killing enemies. Inside the buy menu, you are able to see all the weapons that are available to you during that time, and Valorant also has a unique tracker which displays the minimum amount of money that you'll have starting the next round, which is a nice touch. If your teammates are bad and they don't have enough to afford the weapons, there is an option for them to request a buy. And you with your big brain skills can either choose to buy it for them because you want to be a good teammate, or ignore their desperate pleas for a decent weapon that won't make them useless. This is also where you can buy your abilities. Some agents can have multiple slots for certain abilities, and others will not. Teammates cannot buy your skills for you, and also vice versa. Now don't get me wrong. Valorant is an extremely fun game that rivals CSGO. Riot Games built this game with competitive integrity in mind, which is why they also feature 128 tick servers and a proprietary cheat system. Just be mindful that the anti-cheat system is rooted within your system. This isn't an issue for me, but for you, you might want to be careful. Overall, if you're looking for an awesome competitive gaming experience to entertain yourself over the course of this new summer season, then Valorant is a very viable option to you. Currently, you can get Valorant by signing up on PlayValorant.com, then connecting your Riot account to your Twitch, and watch any Twitch stream for a chance to get whitelisted into the beta. You know what you don't need a whitelist for? Subscribing to the Indie Hub channel. It's free! Be sure to hit the notification bell button and turn on all notifications so you can get notified of whenever we stream or whenever there's new content about the games that you love. That's it for me and I'll see you guys in the next video.